literally following a man, you mm-hmm. know, and I'm, and again, I'm speaking about the church. And so if you are following a man and you're not standing on truth and you have, you are not following Jesus, you, your eyes are no longer on God because actually the precedence and the priority is a man. There's a, there's a word for that. And that word is called idolatry. Yes. Very good. Yes. And they've been yes. in idolatry and for people who, who, you know, aren't following scripture and, and Christian terminology and stuff. Um, the other way to look at it is that it is a cult and that this is their cult leader, their supreme leader. And they've allowed him to just run amok and nobody yes. stops him, uh, corrects him or holds him accountable. Harvest. The frustrating thing is that a lot of our nation's problems are considered to be based on black and white. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to take the black out of this conversation for a second, because some of those guys are walking around with six MWE or whatever. Six, six million Jews wasn't enough. There's another guy walking around with a Camp Auschwitz shirt on. And I'm like, so what is that saying to our, our Jewish family and right. friends? Mm, right. right. You're just disregarding what happened to right. generations of people. And if you're in that party again, I love everybody. This isn't me trying to pick on the other party and, and cast stones at them, but it's just like when I'm sitting here watching a broadcast with a swastika and a mm-hmm. Confederate flag, mm-hmm. and I'm like, these people don't really care about anybody other than, than themselves. And no. where's That's the right. peace in that? Where's the understanding? I, yeah. I was always taught you're only as strong as your weakest link. And, and in the past, past four years, we've watched DeVos totally decimate the, our educational system, yes. mm-hmm. which basically means that people aren't going to be smart enough. They're not going to have the resources and the common sense, mm-hmm. the whatever it is, to go and look at a different point of view. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying mm-hmm. everybody on the left or the right is totally right. When it comes to voting, everyone's like, we need term, we need term limits. The folks in charge are not going to enact term limits that's going to cost them their jobs Mm -hmm. so you know who has to do term limits the people Mm -hmm. if your local representative or national representative isn't voting for the best of your community Mm -hmm. you might need to rethink your vote we have to we have to get past the well my daddy told me to always vote democrat or Mm -hmm. republican those things are past Mm -hmm. us Mm -hmm. we have to move to move forward we have to move forward Mm -hmm. and you know when trump was running around I'm going to open up the coal mines again. Why would you do that? Why would you put somebody in a mine that's going to cave in on them right. or get black lung when you can build some solar factories right. and do some things that would be beneficial for mankind moving forward? Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I, I don't understand why people don't see that bigger picture. Because again, at this point, this argument isn't about Republican or Democrat or black or white. This right. is about taking communities and making them better and stronger. That's right. Um, mm-hmm. What do we have to do to get to that point? And welcoming all people. Right. Stop the gerrymandering. Stop the manipulation within the communities. Stop upping the rent. Yeah. Stop increasing the taxes. The it is. It's about making our communities a better place. And all of the different areas of government, local government, city government, you know, state government need to do their part. And it's up to us to hold them accountable if they will not be holding one another accountable, which we have just witnessed for four years. This man has not been held accountable. And I thank God that Mitch McConnell and Lindsey Graham are finally coming around and they are finally out loud, verbally announcing, yes, this man has lost his ever loving mind. But now they have allowed him to bully them and manipulate them and threaten them all these years when they knew, I don't believe that this is a fresh revelation for them at all. No, no, I I believe that they all know exactly who he is, but it's about their base as well. It's about their careers and their sphere of influence and their families and, and where they Mm -hmm. have, where they have invested their money. That's right. Harvest where they have invested their money into their businesses is all. And again, what do we even start this with? Because it all gets back to self. It's all yes. about self. Mm-hmm. And we need to elect community and statewide and government leaders who are about communities. 